been given a grouped frequency table. We have intervals for the x variable and frequencies. We've been asked to find the mean from this table. The way that we find the mean is that we need to use the midpoints and the frequencies. Now, there's a GCSE technique for doing the sum of the frequencies times the x value, all divided by the total frequency. At A level, you are expected to be able to put this into a table in your calculator and for it to generate the results that you need. Since we can't actually put the intervals into our calculator, we need to use the midpoints. So for each of these, we'll go ahead and we'll calculate the midpoint. The class width for these is not consistent, so just be careful in finding these midpoints. A quick and easy, well-tested, well-trusted way to do that is adding the lower class boundary to the upper class boundary and dividing by two. Some you'll be able to do in your head, but if not, that is a quick way to locate the midpoint. Now these are the values to go into your calculator. Midpoints go into list one and the frequencies go into list two. On your calculator summary statistics screen, you should have all the information that you need. Now the formula is still x bar equals the sum of fx divided by the sum of f. And I'll just put in the values from the calculator screen. 2,452.5 over 42. And that gives us an X bar value 58.39. Just be careful that you check the value you get makes sense. Looking at the data, I know that my mean must be in between 20 and 105 with those being the minimum and the maximum value. So 58.39 is a sensible value. Looking at the frequencies and the way they're distributed, also helps you to get an idea of what would be an, a sensible value, what you would be expecting. Now, I do recommend that you are putting these values in the numerator and denominator, the sum of fx and the sum of f, just to secure some method marks in case you've typed any of the values incorrectly. So that's just a sensible exam technique to secure yourself some marks. It doesn't take that much extra time since all three of these numbers are on the same screen of your calculator.